Hey everyone, Blink Charging reported second quarter earnings, which I'm going to review in this video here. I'm also going to update my recommendation on Blink Charging stock. Coming into this report, I did not have the stock rated as a buy, so you're going to want to tune in to see if I'm changing that recommendation. Oh. Let's get started with total revenue, which increased to 38 32.8 million, I'm sorry, up from 11 and a half million year over year. Revenue almost tripled, but the net loss worsened to 41 and a half million down from 22.6 million. Although if you look at the net loss margin, that did improve because last year the company lost almost twice as much as revenue on the bottom line. This year, just a little over one times revenue the company lost on the bottom line. So it is improving its net loss margin, even though the net loss overall worsened. So the big news coming out of the second quarter for EV charging was all of the deals that Tesla made with OEMs and the impact it's going to have on on the charging companies and Blink said it supports all OEMs and they recently announced that they'll incorporate both the North American charging standard and the CCS into their full line of charging products creating a portfolio of universally accessible EV chargers regardless of EV brand or type so they're going to be accessible to all OEMs regardless of EV brand or type. The cash flow from operations for the six months ended in June 30th were negative 63.7 million. This was down from 31 million outflow in the same quarter, in the same time frame in the year before. But here's the big thing with EV charging, right? So here I have an interesting slide that Blink Charging presented us. And what this shows us is 10% of passenger vehicle sales worldwide were EVs in 2022. So despite all the popularity of EV stocks and EVs worldwide, it's still less than 10% of overall sales. And that's projected to reach 75 to 100% of sales worldwide in 2040. So a massive increase in growth of EV sales. And of course, if you have that many EVs going to go on the road between now and 2040, you're gonna need charging you're going to need a massive increase in charging. And so in 2022, it was estimated that there was roughly 14 million EV charging connectors globally. That's expected to grow to 339 million to 490 million globally by 2040. So going from 14 million to, let's say, 400 million is going to require massive investment and a lot of spending from enterprises, institutions, and apartment complexes, and so on and so forth to get all of these charging stations implemented, in, in, installed, and everything. And so that's the big opportunity for Blink Charging and others in the industry. And it's going. it looks like there's going to be more than one winner in the space, and the opportunity is massive. But it just remains to be seen who's going to be able to deliver these, produce these, install these, and do it profitably, sustainably. That's the big question mark. And that's why I'm still not upgrading Blink Charging Stock even after this impressive quarter. I'm still keeping it where it is as a hold. Even though the opportunity is massive, I need to see more evidence that the company's going to be able to do this profitably self-sustainably without going back to investors and asking for more money because it is going to be expensive to deploy all of these charging stations so i'm acknowledging the opportunity is massive i can see it right here i'm letting you all know there is a massive opportunity and the potential is huge it's just the risk is too much for me at this point to recommend blink charging stock all right but that's all i've got for this video thank you so much for watching I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.